guys, so for today's video, I'm gonna talk about all my money saving DIYs, tips, tricks, everything like that. So let's just get right into it. So my first hack is actually getting completely free shipping labels. A lot of people don't know this, but UPS offers a lot of free shipping supplies and USPS does as well. I know they offer a lot of boxes and things like that. I'm gonna show you an example. Um, it does say UPS on the back. When you remove the label, it's completely not there. So the label is like free to use for any carrier. Shipping labels aren't that expensive to begin with. Um, I know on Amazon you can get like 500 labels for 10 bucks or something like that, which isn't that costly. But if you can get it for free and save a buck, why wouldn't you? And it's free shipping as well. So when you order any shipping supplies from UPS, they will send it completely free. There's no shipping costs, nothing. So literally this is, they're just handing, they're just giving these out for completely free. And a lot of people seem to have some trouble when ordering them. So if you want a direct tutorial on how I order mine, I will link it in the description below. Next I wanna talk about something that I get a lot of questions on, like a lot. It is my custom packaging tape. It's super affordable. You just have to know how to order it. If you're not familiar with Sticker Meal, they sell tons of custom packaging and things like that. But this is one of the best deals that they have on there. And I'm gonna tell you how to get it this is 30 feet well it was 30 feet um, it's probably a little bit less than that now there's different um, size selections for the tape rolls and the one that you want to get is a 30 foot roll and I'll explain to you why when I first ordered my custom packaging tape I found out about it through another TikTok video and another creator was offering their $10 credit. So I went ahead and I signed up using their link and it gave me a $10 credit to use towards Sticker Mule. The $10 credit applies to orders that are greater than $30. I will link a tutorial as well for this. It will be down in the description, but I'm just gonna give you a little overview on how to order. If you put a 30 foot roll of custom tape in the cart, it will not apply the $10 credit because the subtotal is $29 and it has to be over $30. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to add your custom tape and then head back to the home page. You're going to see an option that says get samples. And if you look in those options, there's a bunch of different samples that you can order. But you're going to want to add the one that's like a bunch of sticker samples for $1 and then the $10 credit will apply. You'll get this 30 foot roll of tape for only $20 with free shipping, which is a fantastic deal. Especially if you know that anything custom is super expensive most of the time. So I thought this was a fantastic deal. And that's why I try to share it as much as possible. So if you're wanting to use that $10 credit, it will be linked in the description under custom packing tape $10 credit. And if you need a little bit of a visual, again, click that tutorial in the description and you will see exactly how to order. So moving on to all of my DIYs, that have saved me a ton of money you guys like if you have a printer you need to hop on these DIYs ASAP when I first started my business I really wanted custom things to like start pulling my brand together and making everything cohesive and things like that but ordering thank you cards and all these different little cards that I have are super super expensive I can't really order a small batch of these I think minimum for a lot of places is might be like 50 and if you do order less it's more expensive so if you actually order in bulk it's cheaper but then again if you don't need that many or if you want to change your design it is really really tricky starting off with the probably the most popular um, DIY that I have is my custom tissue paper this is actually tracing paper i do have a method that includes longer tissue paper and it's actually tissue paper and tracing paper so there's two different methods that i do this is the easiest diy the other one is a little bit more difficult way more time consuming this is also time consuming but way less steps it comes in a little booklet like this and again it is just tracing paper it kind of feels like almost like a wax paper. It's 150 sheets and I think it was about $12. So that's a great price. I think for me personally, $12 for 150 of these sheets is gonna last me a long time. That's perfect, super budget friendly and affordable. This will be linked in my Amazon favorites and you can find that in the description as always. Now moving on to all of these things you see here. These are all made with the same exact paper. Here is the star of the show, my photo glossy paper. I do so much with this, I can't even tell you. If you want the link for this exact one, it will also be linked in the Amazon must-haves. So the first thing I made with that paper is my thank you cards. I designed this on Canva. And um, if you're not already using Canva, what are you doing? I use Canva for literally everything in my business. I even used it to create this design here. Everything you see right here was made with Canva. So that's another uh, money saving tip. It's a free program that you can use. I started off with Canva the free version until I finally saw that maybe like the pro was a better option for me, but they do have a free version. Hop on that. I'm in Canva. I literally just created a four by six template, printed it, boom, you got a custom 
thank you card that literally cost me three cents, probably cheaper than that. If you want a tutorial on all of these things, I believe I will put right here. This is a freebie pack of stickers. If you are wanting to start off with some like freebies for your customers, I think that's a great idea. And if you want to start off affordable and budget friendly freebies, these are definitely awesome from Amazon. I've since started getting custom stickers to kind of fit my brand more, make everything more cohesive. But again, that is a later step, I feel like. Or if you make stickers yourself, that's also an option. But for starting off, I definitely recommend just like some sticker packs off Amazon. I made this background. It's not necessary, but I kind of just wanted to display them really cute. Also just say like a little thank you, just kind of like a personalized message. Just a nice little personal touch. And I wanted to like show my appreciation also for my returning customers. And so under here is a discount code for those customers. If they want to come shop with me again, they can have a little discount code. Again, just as a thank you and I just really appreciate their business and I wanted to show that for them. So that is another DIY. I totally forgot to include my custom um, hang tags. These are for like sweatshirts and t-shirts, things like that. Care instructions are super important and I do think they are something that you should invest in and that you should have because it's important to let your customers know how to care for your products. These instructions are for my water bottle cups. I'm packing in order, I will insert that in the cup so it forces the customer to take it out and read it. I used a template from Avery. I also used paper from Avery, so I'm gonna show you how it works. I got a pack of these from Amazon, and I forgot how many comes inside the pack, but you can always look for them in the Amazon must-haves. And as you can see, it is already separated into the little square, so all you do is pop them out and no cutting necessary. But I will say you sacrifice the quality a little bit and what I mean by that is this is like a cardstock it is not a glossy paper so if you could see the difference I don't know if you could see the difference in the the vibrancy this one's obviously the right color and these ones are a little bit more faded and dull now moving on to my freebie stickers get them from hub city graphics and definitely check them out and if you were thinking about ordering stickers on sticker mule I would reconsider these are such good quality stickers and way more affordable than Sticker Mule. All you do is upload your design, choose the size, choose if you want a white border or not, choose if you want to cut to the shape of the design, or if you want just like a flat round label, you can do that too. They also have square labels. A lot of different options customized to you. Lastly, I want to talk about my paper shreds that I use for packaging. I will say this is not sustainable long term. It takes a lot of time to do this. When you're first starting out though, I think this is an expense that you can save. I did see someone comment and I got an email from from this as well that Dollar Tree does sell crinkle paper but I cannot find them anywhere. I am going to have to outsource eventually because it is not something that you can do long term especially as your business grows if you're getting like a bunch of orders there's no way you're going to have time to be making this. Let me know what your favorite money saving tip was. I would definitely love to hear from you in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more tips like this and I will see you guys in the next one.